Hello and welcome to the new equation for education, STEM plus A equals jobs, where we connect education and employment. This new series spotlights some incredibly great teachers who are teaching STEM subjects, which is an acronym for science, technology, engineering, and math, as well as an A for the arts in the kindergarten through high school universe and some incredibly great Silicon Valley employers who have the jobs that use these skills. The new Common Core Standards in Language Arts and Mathematics and the Next Generation Science Standards are challenging schools, teachers, and students to work in a different way, to use 21st century tools and methods, to help students develop the skills and knowledge required by today's employment, so, the teacher of each subject in every grade is being asked to have the students focus on how the information and skills they are learning will prepare them for college or for a current and or future job. This represents a huge shift. There is also a shift coming for industry. Employers are being asked to learn more about these education standards and build partnerships with schools to bring the local business communities together in support of student success and advocacy. There is a sense of urgency in all this change. We are in the middle of a national and international job crisis. There are people who cannot find jobs for the skills they have and employers that cannot find the skilled workers to fill their jobs. If job creation is the key to our future, how can we expect our graduating students to be ready for the jobs of the 21st century if they are using pedagogy developed for the 19th century? Instead of sitting quietly, passively listening to lectures, today's graduates need to be able to innovate, create, and problem solve for a world that we can't even imagine. This show will use new tools like Skype and Google Hangouts on air to interview the stakeholders, teachers, students, university professors, industry representatives, and invite you to let your voice be heard on air and online through Twitter. This brave new world is the one we want to explore. The stakes are high, time is short, so let's see what's being done right now.